Houston, I think we have a tornado. What the heck? Uh, what in the world just happened? Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, I think what we have to do, I was trying to get some logs on and I I had the logs up and above and I put a one of the straps on and I think that's, <laughs> oh my goodness, I think that's what kind of messed things up. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, let's just take all the straps off because I think we're going to need to to release the tractor here. That one won't let me undo it. Oh, wow, that is just bizarre. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I've seen everything now, man. I have... <laughs> I've seen everything now. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Uh, we got this one log... Okay, there. We got out... We, <laughs> we got out of that. All right. Let's get this way. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's, um hop out here and get these smaller ones out of the way I uh, can I lift this one yeah I can lift that one wait can I yeah all right let's just move these over here for the moment I don't think I can lift these can I no those are a little bit too heavy <laughs> oh man okay oh man that was just hilarious I was um I actually ran out of disks, a disk space when I was recording the the time lapse that you guys have seen up to this point. So I had to stop the recording and clear some files off the drive, and then I started to back up, and I figured, well, I'll just finish this and then bring them back when I'm ready to sell. But then, <laughs> then that happened. Oh boy. Okay, so let's um let's get these guys um, moved out of the way. Maybe we'll drop them over here. I have to say, from a financial point of view, this has not been worth it. It really hasn't. Um, in hindsight, what I probably would have done is only tried to sell the big, the really big trunks. Because if you saw how much money I got in the that one sale, you know, that we did in the lap, time lapse, it just this is not worth it. And that's not to say I'm not having fun. I'm actually really enjoying myself doing this, but it's such a hassle with these crooked logs, you know, to do all this. And all right. oh, okay. All right, let's hop off. That's not pretty, but let's at least put one strap down. And see if we can get this bigger log up. All right. Now, come around here. Okay, I think, uh, I think it's on. Here, let's get the tractor out of the way so we don't strap it on again like last time. Oh, my word. <laughs> that was so hilarious. Okay. So we'll put that strap there to hold the big log on. Now let's pick these guys back up here. We still have a couple more uh, to get over on the other end of the field too, and then we'll be good to go. I don't know if you guys noticed that I was kind of struggling with the mulcher on that one branch, and as what it turned out to be was um, it was still attached to one of the logs, and so when I picked the log up and then 
cut it off with the chainsaw, then it was fine. Yeah, see, this, this is just a pain in the neck, man. Such a pain in the butt. In fact, I can load these. That's right, I can load these manually. Uh, what in the world? Get off there. Okay, so let's hop off and see if we can throw these guys on by hand. Okay. That one I can't lift by hand. What about this one? That one I can. Okay. All right, let's redo this strap here. Oh, that didn't catch that. What, what about this one? That one didn't either. All right. How about that? Just barely catches it on the end. Okay. I think both of these were... Yeah, these are too... A little too heavy for me to do by hand. I can see where this would be much, much easier to do with evergreen trees because, you know, they're generally pretty straight, but these elm trees, I guess these are elm trees, are just as crooked as all get out, so it just makes this job a royal pain. Okay, let's back up. I want to try and get both of these at the same time if we can. All right, I guess we got him. question is, can we dump them on here and have them stay on long enough to get a strap over them? That is the question. Okay, let's get right about here. Open up the claw. <laughs> oh man, this is terrible. Alright, it's got a hold of that one. Can we get a strap going here? No, I think I want to pick the logs up. Let's try it from this side. <laughs> That's just bad. That's terrible, man. Okay, but hey, it's co it's connected. All right, let's go. Let's go see what we have left over on this side of the field. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to get these on there. Let's try it. I mean, you know, nothing venture, nothing gain. Okay, get that adjusted right. I guess I should open these up a little more. Come on, man. Okay, well, we managed to get this one. Let's get the branches off the end of this. I haven't really quite figured out exactly what the trick is on that. It just, you gotta kind of wiggle it around until it decides to hit the branch. It's really odd. Um, okay, let's try this again. We wanna get right down there, open up the claw, Turn this way. Man, I 
just does not want to let me pick that other one up. Okay, I got it. I got a different idea. Let's back up this way. See if we can grab them from the top. Okay, let's back up. Okay, there we go. Now, do that. I think we got them. Okay, we're just kind of pinching them now. But if they come loose, they should fall backwards into our into the forks. Ooh, okay. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, whatever. Just let that one go. We probably just need to do two more loads, but... Right, come, uh, whoop, okay, come back here. This is as, um, is as high as I can lift the thingy. Oh, there we go. Okay, just slid down. Uh, okay, I think that's going to work. Okay, let's redo this strap. So it's actually locked in. <laughs> it looks terrible, man. <laughs> it looks so bad. I don't even know if we're going to have enough room to get them into the, to the cell area. <laughs> we're going to try, though. We are going to try. Any chance I can do this one by hand? Probably not. It looks pretty big. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Get that down. Just grab it with a pincher. Not quite. Seriously? All right, let's um, let's try it back where the trunk's a little thicker. Okay, I think we're going to have to get this one from top down, too. There we go. from this side, I think. Okay. Let's lift those up and drop this down. Okay, it's on there. It's janked, but it's on there. Ah, that's <laughs> that's gonna be fun hauling down the road. <laughs> okay, we got one log left. It's a big one. Let's see if we can get it on there too. <laughs> and then I got a couple more stumps to grind before this job's completely done. Well, we're gonna have to get Larry, the landscaper, to come back in and. Uh, replant some grass at, in the spots that I 
you know ground down into the dirt too so we'll do that as well see that one was easy man why can't they all be that easy yeah we got uh, one stump there I think yeah I think that's the only stump on this side but I got a couple on the other side we'll have to do too Now, are we going to be able to get this oh, on here to where it'll stay? That is the question, isn't it? No, no. Let's try it again. Am I gonna nope, I was gonna say am I gonna miss the trailer there? Okay. What? That was weird. What's going on in this game today? Okay, open up, back up, go down, clamp. All right, um, let's try from the other side, I guess. If I had to do a whole bunch of these kind of trees, I'd rent one I'd rent a log hauler, man. I can see where that would super come in handy. Uh, okay. Get that up. Now, will you stay there? I think if I can just get out of the way. There we go. Okay. And we'll secure that. Okay. <laughs> it's on there. It's on there. All right. Let me, let's make one last little sweep here. Make sure I didn't leave any logs behind. I'm pretty sure we got them all. I had taken a couple of trees down, you know, pretty good sized ones down over here. And I think I might have even gotten all the stumps uh that's just a little piece of wood there oh no there is it looks like there is one stump there yeah okay so we'll have to grind that but i think that's it for all the locks oh boy okay now for the next part of this adventure <laughs> we got to get this down there in one piece okay so let's get up to here once we connect we can do the little magic strapping thing to make sure they're really on Okay, let's do the magic strap. There, okay. All right, let's see what happens here, man. That is gnarly.
I think that, yeah, that log should clear when we turn right. The one that's really sticking out there. Yeah, it's good. Okay. All right, let's get this mess down to the wood place and sell it. <laughs> it hurts my eyes just looking at it. <laughs> oh, man. I hope that one log that's sticking out down on the right there doesn't catch on something. That could be bad. It shouldn't while we're on the road. Wide load coming through. <laughs> oh, we scratched their car too. We're going to owe so many people paint jobs by the time this is over. All right, now, um, I th well, yeah, let's just go this way. That guy's car that's sitting there is so, already so scratched up, it ain't going to matter <laughs> if we hit it again a couple more times. <sighs> okay. Yeah, hopefully I can get it. Uh, uh. Sorry about that. Hopefully I can get it close enough to where it'll count to sell. Oh, this is stressful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this. Oh, we got to unlatch uh, or un undo the thingies the magic straps. Here we go. Boom. Oh Don't fall off or if you fall fall to the left Okay We made 1700 bucks we still, <laughs> we still have a couple of logs though that are completely off um Probably can't grab that, right? What about this one? Can I grab this one? Oh, there we go. Okay, good. That that one might actually sell off the trailer now too. Let's see. It did. Okay. All right, we're done with that. Oh my word. Yeah, guys. Um, from again, from a financial standpoint, that was not lucrative. Not even close to lucrative you know you need it you need to get like a big load of nice straight evergreen logs to make a profit doing wood and the only reason I know that is because I've watched some other youtubers you know logging in the game so but you know like I said earlier we we didn't do that to make money we did it to get the the trees off the property so that we can have better access and maybe expand our field and that's what's going to make us more money so anyway all right let's go back and grind the last remaining few stumps that we have and then we'll return the forestry mulcher and finally be done with this job oh we're going to return the the log uh log fork too because we don't i don't think we need that for anything else we're leasing it anyways okay we'll park our trailer there and we have to go hook back up to the mulcher. Oh, wait. No, we got to return this thing first. Okay. There is a mod. Uh, you guys did confirm in the comments that there is a mod that allows me to buy and lease. And I assume return. Actually, do we have to return this to the shop to return it let's just let's just look at that for a second it just occurred to me that maybe we don't have to do that we go to lease and we go here return oh yeah okay nice how about that anyway um you can there's a mod that allows you to buy stuff remotely and have it delivered to your location but it does you know for a fee which is great because that's exactly how it should be I'm not really too worried about that right now but I mean you know for down the road I can see where that could certainly be useful all right let's drop this guy off It's good to know we can return stuff, though, without having to actually go to the shop. That'll save us a little bit of time. 
moving moving down the road okay so we got a couple stumps to deal with and then we're done so let's go okay we got rid of that And there goes the stump. Easy enough. Okay, over here. Did I already get these stumps out of here? It looks like I might have. No. We gotta get this stump. And it's gone. It's gone, baby. This is such a useful tool, man, this forestry mulcher. I love it. Okay, so let's see, we got a big stump over here. That's it. I guess technically we didn't even really have to dig into the ground. What's that? That's just a, like a little leaf sitting on the ground. Is it something we can get rid of though? No, maybe that's not a leaf. Maybe that's a flower. Uh, oh, you know what? Looks like we still have some brush down here to deal with. And, yeah, there's one. You know what? I don't care about that branch. That's not a big deal. Did I leave some brush down here in the creek? Yeah, there's one little piece right there. And it looks like we have a couple pieces of wood here, too. There we go. I reckon we should, we could get rid of this tree too. It is going to kind of be in the way of our hay line there. Let's do it. And okay, now we got these other branch or yeah branches here to get rid of and a couple of pieces of wood there Did we get them I think so Alright, I think that's about it, guys. I think that's about it. So we just got to get Larry the Landscaper out here to replant the grass in the spots, you know, that we messed up. And we are finished with our first bout with logging. And, yeah, I, that's going to make things so much easier on this property you know, have those trees out of the way, you know, for working with the grass and stuff. <clears throat> and especially up at that corner, too, where I was having so much trouble, you know, um, seeing the, the corner of the field. Okay, let's get this. Oh, wait. No, we don't got to go back. I keep forgetting. We can return it from here. I guess somebody comes to get it. We'll at least uh, disconnect it. Don't have to, but in reality, we would need to.
Look out. Okay. Had to answer a text there. My brother-in-law is coming over to watch some uh, Boba Fett. Looking forward to that. Okay, let's see. What are we doing? We're going to... No, we got to go into the shop here. And this is what we've been leasing. And we are now returning it. And it's done. All right, you guys. So, um... What is coming up next is we get a, we need to roll the field. Yes, yeah, says needs rolling. Uh, so we'll do that, and we got to have Larry come over and fix the little spots on the grass. I'll probably just do that off camera now because <laughs> you guys have seen me do that a few times with Larry. And uh, we'll have him fix that. We're at 97,525. So, you know, now we need to start working on money. I don't, uh, I'm not expecting any contracts yet because we're still uh, in October 3rd. So hopefully when we sleep and it rolls over to November, we'll, we'll get some more contracts to do. And we'll just keep working contracts until um, January. And then when January rolls around, we can sell our sugar beets. And we might even... Um, I, I don't think we'll have a hay harvest ready by then. We'll see. Uh, but I think the game's going to snow, though, too. So that's a thing. But we're, you know, I'm not planning on doing anything in the winter unless maybe there's some plowing contracts we could take. We'll see what happens there. But if, you know, if there's not much going on during the winter, I'll probably just, you know, shorten the days to one day per month and fast forward it after we sell our sugar beets. So that is the plan anyways. And guys, uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video and we will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.